Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys. It's day five of As Seen on TV week, and by popular demand, and as spring returns and the sun comes back out, we are taking a second look at HD sunglasses, specifically the HD Vision Foldaways. Epic Review Guys. If HD Vision sunglasses have been missing off your store shelves for the past few months, as spring returns, they will return like the swallows to your local drugstore. We got these for about $15, and I'll put a link down below this video if you'd like to check them out. Now, my brother reviewed these about a year ago, but these do say new, so we thought we would see if there's been any improvement in the technology. And we've just had a lot of people asking us to take a look at these and see if they really work. First, I'll tell you about the glasses that I wear daily, and I've had these probably six or seven years. These are AO Optical Aviator Style glasses. Now, these are about $50, whereas the HD Vision glasses are about $15. These also are actually worn by some aviators, and they're made of glass, and they've lasted me at least six or seven years, so can't have too high expectations on glasses that cost about a third. Here's what the glasses look like out of the package. You notice the little sticker here, UV400. In tiny little print below that, it says 100% UV protection, which is what glasses generally have. So the UV 400, trying to make it sound ultra fancy and better than the others, is just a silly marketing thing. A little microfiber pouch. And if you notice, the glasses are bigger than the pouch. So they fold up when you're ready to put them away. The way the folding works is half of the earpieces fold over. Then you fold the other half down. So they pretty much touch the lens. Then you fold it in half like that and it will fit in your little pouch, fit in your pocket, fit in your purse. Very handy to take with you. I have to admit, my glasses do not do this. Fold it up, they fit right into the little microfiber bag with the drawstring. You're ready to take them with you. So how do they look? Out of the pouch, unfold, unfold, unfold. A little snugger than mine, the earpieces are, but of course they're one size fits all, so they have to sort of average it out. Getting a little weird optical distortion thing going on, but yeah, I'm, I'm used to my glasses, so um, inexpensive plastic lenses, maybe they all sort of do that warbly thing to the world. They say it looks brighter, but uh, if there's any kind of tinting or coating on the lenses, it, it has to actually make it darker, though it can give you the illusion of it being brighter. Everything has a sort of pinkish yellow hue. I'm looking at the light, that window and this window, a little bit of pinkish and yellowness, so it makes it different so it seems brighter. But everything now is white and bright bright, so obviously it's brighter looking without the glasses, but like the, the, top, the uh, shingles on the roof across the way are kind of washed out because it's a very light gray and the sun's right on it. When I put this up, I can clearly see every individual shingle, all the lines. When I look at it this way, it's sort of, it, my eyes squint a little and I, I can't see those lines. So that's something this will let you do, that looking just with your naked eye doesn't. Let me try my glasses here, see how the shingles look. Same, now I can see them but they don't look pink. <laughs> These are optically neutral gray, so they do darken everything. They don't deny that, but it darkens everything equally, so I still see the colors and the natural color, the green of the grass, the green of the house, that white shingle, gray roof, the blue sky, all look the same color, just not as bright. Now, first I'm gonna put the HD vision lens in front here. That's what it looks like. Next, I'll try my sunglasses with the optically neutral gray. Here are my sunglasses. Okay, we are driving up the street with just the regular camera lens, no sunglasses on it. I'm going to take turns with the different glasses on me, and then we'll do a subjective and objective comparison.
we are now on the same street and you are looking through the lens of my AO optical aviator glasses. By the way, if you can see me, this is what I look like with the HD vision glasses on. It does make everything seem brighter, but I know it's fooling me with an optical illusion. And here you are looking through the lenses of the HD vision glasses. They don't fit 100% over the camera lens. Well, I hope that having the video of driving through the different lenses was helpful for you, and here's the reason why. I can't tell you which would be the best pair of glasses for you. I think there are two basic philosophies of sunglasses. There's my wife's philosophy, and there's my philosophy. Now, my wife, I'm sure, will love these. Her philosophy is sunglasses are going to get broken, or lost, or scratched, or the kids are going to play with them and break them. They aren't going to last more than a season or two, so buy inexpensive sunglasses, Something cheap and plastic you can stick in your purse and at what, spend $10, $15. When they're scratched up or broken, you throw them away and get another pair. My philosophy is that since I do most of the driving on the long drives, the 10-hour hauls to El Paso and everything, where it's just bright blue sky and sunlight the entire trip, if I'm looking through inexpensive plastic lenses where when you turn your head, it's sort of like you're looking through an old window pane where the, the glass is all wavy. That gives me a headache, causes eye strain, it gives me a headache, uh, it, it just bothers me. So yeah, I prefer spending more money to get a pair of glasses that no matter which way you move them or turn your head, they, everything looks the same. Also, it's uh, color neutral so that it doesn't change the colors. The other thing for me is when we're on trips and I'm doing the driving and seeing the sights of the land and even when we get there, if it's sunny and I keep the sunglasses on, basically my experience of seeing Big Bend National Park or uh, South Padre Island Seashore or the Alamo, wherever we go to visit, is through the lenses of the sunglasses. So if I'm wearing sunglasses that make everything blue or brown or yellowish pink, that's basically the, the memory I have of the place is seen through that. That may seem kind of silly, but for me, when we get back from the trip and watch the videotape of it, and I'm looking at it on the high definition TV, I don't want to be sitting there thinking, hmm, it's not as yellow as I remember it. So for 15 bucks, view the As Seen on TV HD Vision fold away sunglasses as basically disposable, my wife's philosophy on glasses. They work perfectly fine, they have the UV protection, they're I think just as good as any $15 pair of glasses you'll find in the drugstore. If you like that they fold up and you can fit them in your pocket, these are perfectly fine. If you're of my philosophy where glasses, sunglasses are not disposable and you're going to keep them for many years, then I would say invest in something like these, find a style that you like, find a weight that you can handle. Glass lenses do weigh quite a bit more, but then when you're looking through them, it's almost like they're not there, and that's the feature I really like. Again, these were about $50. We have links to both of these down below if you'd like to compare them. And in the final analysis, for some people, choosing which pair of glasses to get may come down to deciding whether you want to look stunning or stylish. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At every group you guys are gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.